All right, guys, so I've been playing a ton of Starfield. I'm really enjoying it so far. One of my favorite things so far is the return of the class system. For those of you that don't know, the class system was last used all the way back in Oblivion, so its return is long overdue. But what about those that aren't familiar with the class system? How do I avoid picking the wrong one and potentially ruining the game before it even starts? Well, you're in the right place, because I'm going to be explaining every class in Starfield and telling you which ones are worth picking. Now, if any of you are stressing over this, then don't worry. Your starting class doesn't really matter all too much. You can always change your mind and respect your character later. Your starting class just gives you a jump start in the right direction. Now, the way it works is every class has three perks assigned to it, and there is some overlap here and there. With all that out of the way, let's look at the classes. The first class we have is Beast Hunter. Described as an all-purpose creature killer, Beast Hunter is a definite pick for those of us who intend to take on some of the deadlier vermin in the universe. The perks included here are Fitness for increased stamina, Ballistics which increases ballistic weapon damage, and Gastronomy to cook and craft special recipes. Beast Hunter is an all-around good class for the explorers out there. You have increased stamina and weapon damage whenever things get hairy, and after you down your target, you have a multitude of recipes to cook it with. If you're expecting to encounter any deadly alien creatures, this is your class. Next we have the Bouncer. In your line of work, you learn that most non-lethal confrontations can be solved in two ways, a strong right hook or a more strongly secured door. The perks a Bouncer gets access to are Boxing for more unarmed damage, Fitness for increased stamina, and Security for picking locks. If you're all about cracking heads and breaking into places, Bouncer might be the pick for you. Now unarmed combat is actually really fun in Starfield. Combine that with more stamina and lock picking, and you have a pretty solid class. The next class we have here is Bounty Hunter. If you've been looking forward to flying spaceships in Starfield, this class is perfect for you. All three perks have something to do with ships in flight. The piloting skill allows you to activate thrusters and grants access to more advanced spaceships. Targeting control systems activates your ship's lock-on weapons. Lastly, boost pack training allows you to use a jetpack while out exploring. Ship combat is a really fun aspect of the game, so you can't really go wrong with this perk. If you prefer to be up in the stars rather than here on the ground, choose Bounty Hunter. Everyone has to eat, but there has to be someone to make that food. Chef is a class for fans of the culinary art. The basis of the chef class is scavenging, cooking, and cutting. Gastronomy allows you to use unique recipes. Scavenging helps you find more resources while exploring, and dueling makes you deal more damage with melee weapons. This class is very crafting oriented, so if that's not your thing, consider avoiding it. However, if the thought of going out and finding resources to craft with sounds like your kind of time, this is your class. You're not going to make it very far in the universe if you can't take care of yourself, and no class does this better than the combat medic. You've never been afraid to take on the enemy, you'd just much rather help your friends. As a combat medic, you'll deal more pistol damage, have higher max health, and all healing items are more effective on you. There are a handful of unique healing consumables in Starfield, so having them be more effective is never a bad thing. The pistols are also really fun to use in the game. For role-playing purposes, it's always good to have a trained combat medic aboard. If you're on the fence about which class to pick, you can't really go wrong with combat medic. If sneaking and sabotage is more your cup of tea, you might be a fan of the Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, the Megacorp stand as monuments to power, prestige, and more importantly, profit. You've worked both for and against them, whichever pays the most. Perks here include better lockpicking, pickpocketing, and you're harder to spot. It's your job to break in, sneak around the place, and pick your target's pocket. This is definitely for the more patient players that don't mind sticking to the shadows. If you always did a stealth archer build back in Skyrim, you'll feel right at home here. The cyberneticist is just an all-around good class for beginners. Perks here include better laser weapon damage, better lockpicking, and more efficient healing items. This is really just a good build for the majority of things you'll be doing in the game. Some of the best weapons in the game are laser weapons, so that perk will pay off later. All in all, the cyberneticist is just a pretty decent class, albeit maybe a bit dull. Maybe you're not the violent type. You'd rather solve conflict with words rather than weapons, and maybe get a good deal every now and then. If this is you, then the diplomat class is probably going to be your go-to. Perks included with Diplomat include better prices from vendors, increased max health, and increased chances of persuading NPCs. Having a high speech skill is useful in almost all RPGs, and it seems like Starfield is no different. You can get better rewards, more information, and even unlock new quests with persuasion. 
Bartering is also a big part of the game, so better prices with all vendors is something you can't turn down. Pair all this with increased max health, and you have one of the best classes in the whole entire game. Starfield is the biggest open world Bethesda has ever made, by far, and I know there's a lot of you that can't wait to ignore the main quest and go explore the universe. For everyone like this, the Explorer class is probably your go-to. As an Explorer, you'll get perks that increase laser weapon damage, make your hand skater more effective, and improves your ship's grav drive. This last one is especially important, because it dictates how far your ship can go. It's something you can increase the further you go into the game, but having this head start early on can be a huge advantage. Your hand scanner is also something you'll be using a lot in the game, so it's best to keep this running as efficiently as possible. As a whole, this seems like the perfect class for those who want to set their own path and explore the stars. There are a lot of ways to make credits in the galaxy. However, not all of these ways are legitimate. Some have to get their hands a little dirty to make a living. Some, like the gangster. As a gangster, you excel in close quarter combat, whether it's your fist or your shotgun. As the name suggests, you're also quite the capable thief, being able to pickpocket your unknowing victims. If you have loose morals and empty pockets, the gangster is your class. Much like Fallout 4 and 76, Starfield has a pretty large base building mechanic. If you couldn't care less about the story and want to play The Sims in space, you're probably a homesteader. As a homesteader, you have increased carry weight, improved hand scanner, and the ability to find more rare resources on planets. There are a multitude of valuable resources that can be used for crafting and selling, and your hand scanner helps you find these resources. As for the carry weight, this is a Bethesda game. I already know that all you guys are going to pick up every piece of loot that isn't glued down. A couple extra pounds of carry weight can't hurt. Even though I'm not a huge fan of base building in the game, Homesteader is a pretty decent class. If you like to have a healthy balance of technical knowledge and social awareness, the Industrialist might be for you. This class focuses on skills such as lockpicking, persuasion, and crafting. With the perk research methods, you can complete projects from the research lab with fewer resources. Requiring less resources for all this can give you a big advantage early on. If all this seems interesting to you, you'll probably enjoy the Industrialist. Are you getting tired of playing American Trucking Simulator day after day? Do you wish you could live out your shipping fantasies in a brand new game? Well, if so, I have two words for you. Long Hauler. This class is all about transporting cargo from system to system. You also have increased carry weight to make your job a little bit easier. There are a multitude of shipping jobs you can do in Starfield, and they're a good way to make some credits. If that's a route you're going to make a living on, Long Hauler is a perfect class for you. Wayfarer, Wanderer, Seeker, Transient. You've been called many things during your travels, and learned something that those others can never understand. The journey is the destination. The Pilgrim is the ultimate traveler. Perks include more cooking recipes, better chances at finding resources, and an improved hand scanner. If you're wanting to explore the galaxy, yet don't have a concrete destination in mind, try the Pilgrim class. Some people say that the best loot one can get is an education, and no class better fits this than the Professor. As a Professor, you're more efficient at crafting, find better resources on planets, and improve your ship's grav drive. And, last but not least, you have a degree, which is good. I'm proud of you. If you've always preferred brains over brawn, the Professor is the way to go. Just don't let it get to your head. You're a wandering warrior, unbound. Wandering the galaxy is a blade for hire, a space samurai. I mean, come on, that's all I need to say. Space f samurai. As a ronin, you're a master of the blade, able to take on multiple foes at once. When the blade just doesn't cut it, you're also a master of stealth. Lastly, your natural luck allows you to find more resources when looting containers. This is by far one of the coolest classes in the whole entire game. Just the idea of a space ronin is so badass. Badassery aside, it's an all around good build for melee users. Those melee sneak attacks can make short work of even the strongest enemies in the game. If any of this appeals to you, it's time to study the blade. Up next, we have the Sculptor. Now this is one of the more interesting classes in the game. To start, your character is an art school graduate, so you unlock the special Disappointed Parents perk. But really, as a sculptor, you'll focus on skills like persuasion, medicine, and geology. As a class, it's alright. Not entirely sure where they got the name sculptor from, but hey, good on them. 
If you fancy yourself an artist, then I guess the Sculptor is the way you want to go. The Soldier is the ultimate combat class in Starfield. Due to your military training, you're an expert with ballistic weaponry. You're also in incredible shape, so you have more stamina than your average Joe. Lastly, you have a jetpack, because every good soldier needs a jetpack. This is the closest you can get to being a Spartan in Starfield, so it works for me. If you don't know what build you want to go for, but know that you want to kill stuff, this is a good starter class. Alright, I'll explain this next class quickly. Do you want to be like him? Or him? What about him? If so, you want to be a space scoundrel. As a space scoundrel, you're an expert pilot, able to do things with a ship that most people couldn't even dream of. While on the ground, you're a crack shot with a pistol. That is, if you don't talk your way out of it first. This is my most played and favorite class in the whole entire game. If you want to be a sweet talking sharpshooter, become a space scoundrel. Xenobiologist is a great setup for exploring hostile planets. As a Xenobiologist, you do bonus damage with laser weapons, have more stamina, and have an improved hand scanner. If the Beast Hunter's role was to kill alien creatures of the galaxy, it's your job to find and study them. Armed with your improved hand scanner, you'll have no problem scanning alien creatures from afar. You also have enough stamina to run away when things get bad. If you're more interested in the biology of Starfield, this is your class. Last but not least, we have File Not Found. For those who are still unsure which class they want to go with, this might be your best option. File Not Found is essentially your blank slate character. It gives you increased health, better ballistic damage, and better piloting. This is good for starting the game while not sure which build you want to go for. If none of the other classes were your thing, and you instead want to pave your own way, pick File Not Found. So, that's every class in Starfield. Out of all of these, which ones are the best? I'd say as a whole, Soldier, Ronin, Diplomat, and Space Scoundrel are probably the best starting classes. They cover a pretty broad area while also giving you a good jumpstart down their certain path. But like I said, if none of these pique your interest, you're better off going for File Not Found for that blank slate build. Really though, every class is useful and unique in their own way, so you can't really go wrong. Which class are you going for in Starfield? Personally, I've been loving Ronin and Space Scoundrel. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, liking and subscribing really helps the channel out a lot. I make videos all about Starfield and Fallout, so if that's something you want to see, be sure to stick around. I think that's all from me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.